All right, guys, welcome to episode 37 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. What up, We're what back up? with another episode, man. We appreciate everybody that's been rocking, liking, subscribing, thumbs up, all that good shit. Continue to do that. But today we're back with another episode for you guys. Hopefully you guys have been liking what we've been doing lately. Go right. down in the comments and let us know if you've seen the videos we've been doing lately and if you rock with it. But, um, but yeah, man. Today, shout out of the day today, man, mothers. Shout out to all you mothers out there. Uh, tomorrow's Mother's Day. And, yeah, man, I know I appreciate the fuck out of my mom. Thanks. I wouldn't be shit without her. So, yeah. shout out to you, mommy. I love you. Shout out moms, man. Without mom, I would be nothing, to be honest. That's my best friend. You know what I mean? I love her and shit. The only one that's going to be there for real for at the end of the day, bro. Yeah, that's real your shit. first love, man. That's your first love as a woman. Yeah, as a, as a little kid, bro, as yeah. a boy, bro, you you definitely love your mom. Facts. But, and, um, um, guys, don't forget to like... You know, subscribe, thumbs up, do all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, the same shit I just said 15 seconds ago. Don't forget about that. Guys, don't forget. <laughs> but be doing nah, that, for real. real. Nah, facts. But yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and get right into the first topic, which is, um, does the genre of music you listen to reflect who you are as a human, like as a person? So like, if you listen to country or if you listen to rap, like, you know, whatever it is, like, does that make you, you know? a bad human for listening to music talking about killing people and shooting people or whatever you know like. people do you know i feel like i heard this is what i heard you know people that listen to like you know rap and and all this stuff are they're more likely to do a crime because of the music that they listen to because you know how music is it's kind of like it gives off vibrations no nah, it does and uh you know, you speak negative stuff like how you were talking, you know, you were telling me we had a conversation about it recently where, you know, neg negativity, like you speak it out mm -hmm. to existence, it'll come back around. You know what I That's mean? That's a fact. Um, but yeah, I really, I really think it's kind of true. I mean. Because like emo, emo music, you know what I mean? People I like wouldn't say that like it makes you that. Yeah. yeah. But the likelihood is like most people that listen to music, it becomes your lifestyle like whatever you listen to yeah it becomes your lifestyle like if you're listening to hip-hop you're listening about you're listening to people talking about pulling licks and selling dope and doing this and doing that yeah you might tend to lean towards that lifestyle because it's what you listen to but That's it's true. true bro like it's true what you said like it affects your psyche bro it affects your chakras That's true. that's why damn bitch that's why at the end of the day, bro, you got to be careful what you listen to, what you speak. Because let's be real, bro. Like, at the end of the day, music is like what you speak through your mouth, bro. Yeah. It becomes, it, it comes into existence. Yeah. If you're always talking that, like, you're always talking about death and shit like that. That's, in my opinion, that's why, like, Tupac and Biggie, bro, they attracted that to themselves. They were always talking about death, like yeah. life after death, fucking all these. It's it was always about death. You attract what you speak. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's why. Um. Uh. Fuck. What's that guy's name that beef with Drake? Uh, party next door. No, no, no. Uh. Uh, Meek Mill. No. Um. The most recent one, bro. He uh, dropped added on and shit. Oh, you're talking about like Kanye West and uh Nah uh, nah uh, um Man, I'm not too sure. Bro, um fuck bro. His his brother was named Malice, bro, and he changed that shit. Like he was a rapper that talked about all that shit. It was you know what I'm saying? They really grew up selling coke and shit like that. Yeah. But um Pusha T. Pusha T. Oh, Pusha T. Pusha yeah. T's brother, he changed his name to No Malice. You know what I'm saying? Like, doing no no harm to people. Because he realized, like, he was talking about that in an interview where, like, he's like, yo, how many people have gotten killed, you know what I'm saying, in a drive-by with my music playing? Because that's what he rapped about. It's like, you shoot him up, bang, bang, nigga, and that's what you listen to. It becomes the track list of your lifestyle. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, he changed it up and shit. But I feel like... I wouldn't say it automatically makes you that because yeah. there's a lot of people that have regular jobs. They work at an office and they listen to trap. They're not out here selling drugs and pulling licks and shooting niggas, but that's what they like to listen to. Yeah, but that's true because I like to listen to it sometimes. Me I ain't too, gonna lie. But I love trap music. Yeah, I love trap music. Yeah, I'm not out here doing everything that they're saying in a song, but yep. it's like, yeah, I feel like it. It actually does make a difference. 
You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. what you listen to. So, yeah. guys, guard your spirit, guard your energy, man, because the shit you speak, it comes into existence and it comes back around. Yeah. For real, for real. Because emo people, you know what I mean? I feel like emo people, like they, they listen to depressing, suicidal stuff. That type of stuff, too, is kind of like, I don't know, but it, it depends. It depends on the, on the yeah, type Yeah, bro, of what you listen to, what you watch, all that shit, it shapes your mind and it makes you act a certain way. Yeah. Believe it or not, that's why it's called television programming, because it's programming you to think a certain way. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, man, I, you know, let, guys, go down in the comments and let us know if, like, listening to, you know, whatever genre of music affects your life and it, if it affects the way that you act and shit like that. But um, but yeah, man. Going back to Mother's Bell tomorrow's Mother's Day and shit, and I'm not gonna lie, bro. I had I had a tough time like picking out a gift for my fucking mom, bro. Yeah, because it's like be it's mom's nigga, but you give somebody that you owe your whole life to. I ain't got I ain't got nothing yet, man. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab something small, something you know, nothing too crazy. Cause like mom don't really care about that. You know what I mean? She kind of just like, yeah, but it's, it's more the, of the thought. thought. It's yeah, the it's thought. the thought that counts, bro. You know, and that's kind of like one of the topics that we wanted to get into too. Was, yeah, uh, man. Yeah. Does uh does getting someone cash or does you know like buying something or like making something, like which one is the best option as like a, a gift? Like a gift is card. Is it rude to give people cash? And, like, not go shopping or, like, not make something with your own hands. Because everybody has their own opinion. There's people that feel like the best gifts are the ones that you make with your own hands. Like, it could be a fucking drawing yeah. or whatever. They feel like it's more. It's from the heart. It's worth more than, like, a $100 bill to them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I, per I personally feel like it just depends on the person, bro. You got to yeah. know the person. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? Sure. There's people that prefer cash. There's Some people like, bro, yeah. I'd rather have a $100 bill than, like, yeah, a couple shirts and a pair of shoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like yeah. for real. Yeah, like I, me personally, I don't get offended when someone gives me a gift card because, like, maybe they just don't know what I like personally. You know what I mean? Exactly. They, you know what I mean? Like that type yeah, of deal. Yeah, I don't get offended. Period. If you get me anything because I'm not expecting it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's like I don't give a fuck if you gave me a pair of socks or like, fucking ten bucks. Like thank you, regardless. Yeah. Like thank you for thinking about. Me, period. Yeah, like, exactly. You might not have known what to get me, yeah. but you were thinking about me you regardless. Still, you still went out of your way. Exactly. Yeah. Like, so it's appreciated. Yeah, that's money out of your pockets regardless. You know, it's not even, that's just a gift. You know, that's from the heart. Uh, but yeah, you know, some people just prefer, they, they think it's rude because like, oh, cash, like, you know, they couldn't think of anything better. You know what I mean? Like those type of people. But this everybody thinks differently, I guess, you know? Everybody. Yeah, man, it, it's all up to your own opinion, but... Again, guys, go down in the comments and let us know what you guys think. If getting somebody cash is rude, if it's sleazy, if it's lazy, whatever it is that you think about it, let us let us know in the comments and yeah. shit. But um, for real. But yeah, man. What's going on? What's going what, on? What's, what's going, going on, on with in this the world? world dog? What's going on Shit's with the world? Getting crazy, bro. People have know. crazy fetishes nowadays. Uh. Something that we wanted to talk about. John brought up. Yeah. It's like, damn, some niggas are into some weird shit. Yeah. Like some niggas like getting fucking tied up and peed on and fucking all types of weird shit. I was bro, like, yeah. I, I don't know. I was having a convo with my buddy Andy today. <laughs> and fucking, he was Shout like, yo, to man. You, Andy. He was, you know, we were talking about, you know, he was watching porn one day. You know, some normal stuff. Something Actually, we all fucking do. You know, you scroll down, you see something weird. You're just like, all right, I'm done. But, like, you know what? I'm interested. You know? Cause yeah. Cause humans, humans are curious. You're like, what you the know? fuck is this? Yeah, so, so he clicks on it. And he just sees this woman just getting ran by a horse. Oh, my fucking yeah, just God. Just like, just, just getting... I'm not going to lie. Andy, I you don't know? know you, bro, but it sounds like you were kind of looking this shit and up. And he's like, That's I not... couldn't stop looking at it. I was like, I don't know. I was like, no, I feel you, bro. I don't know what the fuck is that. What's nah, going bro. on? Some people have some yeah. really fucking weird you know, like weird ear, ear nibbling, you know, like like feet. That's not that that's normal. That's along feet. the lines of normal. Yeah, but nibbling my ear, what are you, an animal? Like I mean they I don't know, don't bro. Nibble. They might feel like they fucking like it, so they nah. might feel like you might like it. Nah. But that's that's not too bad. Yeah. But I'm talking about like the people that are like yeah. Doing shit like that, bro. Like, yeah, like 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 laying, like maybe getting hung on the wall, like strapped, <laughs> and you got an apple in your mouth, like. That's what I'm saying. And like, know, like a chick's ramming you with a fucking strap on. It's like, what the fuck are y'all doing you can't in here? You scream because of the apple. You're like, <laughs> you know, like it's some crazy shit. Like they'll leave you there for days in a dungeon. You nah, know, like bitch, that's too fucking. Bro, you ever seen Joe Dirt? For you ever, days. Remember Joe Dirt? When the guy fucking he was trapped in the fucking. 
Like, yeah, he was just like lubing him up for days and shit. Yeah, some weird shit. Weird, bro. Hey, man. At the end of the day, bro, it's like, I don't get it. I don't understand it. But at the same time, if that's what you like, bro, that's, that's what you like. Bien, that's what you that like. Yeah, my bien. But keep it over there. Nah, yeah, <laughs> if I fucking see you bring a horse to my house, bro, I'm going to be like, yo, what's up? Nigga? I'm not going like, to lie to you. What's up? I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you a story of what happened to me. It's kind of fucking weird. Speaking of fetishes. Story time, guys. Guys, listen to this. So I'm out here and it's, you know, I'm out here. I do the online dating shit from time to time. I ain't going to lie to you. My dog's a man whore. It's okay. I do it. I really do. And I'm out here. I meet this girl. She's a normal chick. You know, she adds me on Instagram, whatever. She's a Russian chick. And she goes to USF. Mm, right? Russia. Mother Russia. And I see. And I'm like, oh, yeah, she in a catfish. I see some pictures. She sent me some pictures. She real. Like, I'm like, okay. What the vibe? Yeah, I'm chilling. It's been a couple weeks, you know. So I've been talking to her. But on some weird shit, this is why I brought up the conversation of fetishes. Because, man, this girl was just, like, on some weird shit. She's like, yo, I like, you know, I like to be tied up. Or I, I like... To tie up, uh, I like to role play, which is cool. I'm down with that. That's cool. Yeah, that's not, that's, that's pretty normal. normal. But then she started saying and tassels play. and started fucking the whips. Fuck is tassel? I don't know. Some whips. Whoa. Some crazy shit. Like, and then she's talking about butt plugs and shit. And I'm like, listen, like for you. Yeah, yeah, facts. Not for me. And she's just like, oh no, like, well, my ex, you know, he really enjoyed, you know, uh, me getting fucked, you know, in front of me. Like, it was just really weird. And then, like, also, I kind of enjoy, like, my boyfriend getting fucked by another, like, threesome. And I was like, listen, I'm not, I'm not your ex. Like, I don't, Nigga, I, what? yeah, like, on some weird shit. Yeah, no, that's And I was like, listen, much, I'm bro. not gay. Like, no, re- like, no extra, disrespect. Bro, like, no, nah, no, nah, that's extra, bro. Yeah. yeah it's like, like, listen, bro, res- respect my mind, dog. Like, and I was like, listen, can it just be you and me? And she's just like, <sighs> She didn't reply after that. And I was kind of just like, wow, there's some real fetishes. Like, yo, like, this is what it's going to be. She was a real person. Like, I mean, listen, bro, you got to give respect to her for, like, letting you know what it was. Yeah, like, like this, this is, is what, what I, I like. like. Yeah. And that's it. That's respect. I like to hang people from a wall upside down and fucking maybe no. hang them from their penis. Nah, you know, something crazy bro, that like that. That shit's They're, crazy. Yeah, like some crazy shit. Nah, like, that's too much, bro. Like, that's too much. I like, I don't know, bro. I'm a simple type of guy. I like regular sex. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We start off with foreplay, you know what I'm saying? You know the tie-up We game. might 69 right quick, you know what I mean? Yeah, facts. Do missionary right quick, flip you over, hit your doggy. Yeah. And then bust a nut. Like, what the fuck else is there to do? Yeah, bust a fucking, uh, shoot a rope and... Shoot a rope and keep it moving, yeah, mommy. Roll over and sleep, you know? But, facts. But That's whatever. I don't know. They, it's just it's a weird too fetish. Much, man. What about people getting peed on? Like, what what's going on with that? I've heard some people... Is it Make warm? up some like excuses that I was like, okay, okay what the war- fuck does that have to do with anything? Oh, oh it's oh, still, not- it's ninety five percent water, and it's not. No, who no, gives no. a fuck? Somebody's pissing on no, you, bro. No, man. Like I would never touch piss unless I had to survive and drink my own piss. My nigga. All right. I'm yes. never in my motherfucking life letting anybody piss on me, bro. It's a fight. Like, you're not doing it. No, nah, there's no way I'm doing it. You're not that. doing it. And, like, why can't I just throw warm fucking water at your face? If that's what you like, I'll just throw a whole bucket of fucking water, warm water, and splash it in your face, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what the fuck you like, you lukewarm-ass. <laughs> lukewarm-ass woman. Here, no, what the fuck is... Go, I don't know. Go jump in the springs. I don't know. During the I summer. Don't, I, don't, I don't get people shit, but, uh, hey, like we said, man, it ain't for us to get. Nah, it, it ain't for us it to get. Like, it is what our, it that's is. our opinion. You know what I'm saying? Guys, go down in the comments and let us know your opinion. Yeah. If you think fetishes like that are normal yeah. or if you think it's fucking weird. Or maybe you like to get oiled up. Put on a table and probably like put some <laughs> carrots and shit around you and eat. Carrots you know, like <laughs> yo, this nigga's <laughs> on some wild yo, shit, they got, bro. They got girls that fucking. All right, nah. Well, well, let's, let's move on, yeah, bro. Move on. We could go on this all night, bro. Weird shit happens every but fucking. But you know, night. everybody has a price. Everybody got a price. Everybody got a price, bro. I don't care. But at the same time, bro, you can't you can't buy your way out of, out of every situation. Look at Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby, that's true. He's rich. Super rich. Yeah, but what were the chances of, like, getting caught? Like, it's been, like, 50 years. What type of semen or what type Uh, of fucking... It's not even about that, bro. It's just about the statement. Like... All right, so what if, like... That's like Tupac when he got fucking charged and stuff like that. Not charged, but he got accused of raping that girl. mm -hmm. Remember that? With Nas and all that? That's crazy, man. And, like... 
it just ruins your reputation. But we don't know if he really did it or not. It's just a statement. Maybe five women, 15 women wanted to just do it just to get some money out of it. Maybe they had some hatred towards them from the past. You don't I, know. I feel like, you know, that might be a possibility. That's always a possibility. But at the same time, I'm a firm believer that where there's smoke, there's fire, bro. One person, all right, you might be able to look past it. Two, three, it's like, oh, okay, you know, a couple of pe- bitches might be hating. Bro, when it's over 20 women that are like, bro, nah, this nigga was drugging bitches and, like, raping us. Yeah. At that point, you got to listen. Because it's not, it, it like, it's more credible when it's, like, a, like 20-something women coming forward. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the same time, have there been guys that have been wrongfully convicted in situations just like that? Yes. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of guys out here that, you know... They get fucked over in situations like that. You just got to know how to move, bro. That's what, Like, a lot of females wonder why guys don't, you know, they're they're not as pushy as they were. Like, they're not quick to go after a girl anymore. They yeah. won't spit at game in the middle of the street. Most guys don't because it could be looked at as a fucking assault. Yeah, even I'm touching, coming up even, to you. Do, even doing this, tapping just, you on the shoulder. Bro, I just want to walk over and let you know that you are beautiful. That's all I want to do. Oh! But as soon as I walk over, you're thinking I'm trying to do some crazy Rape. shit or whatever. Like, Rape. Yeah, it's like, bro, like, nah, I might as nah. well just not even deal with that nah, shit. Nah, nah, for real. You know real. what I mean? And but a like lot money, of guys, a lot of guys are thinking like that, bro. But money, but money, at the end of it, money does take care of a lot of things. You know, everybody No, gotta, money takes care of a lot, yeah. yeah but, yeah. bro, there's people out here that have cancer that they, they can't spend... Yeah, when it comes you, to they health, can't obviously. buy yeah, fucking yeah. health, bro. Yeah. You can't, there's certain things you can't buy. You yeah. can't buy another mom once you lose her. I don't give yeah. a fuck how many billions you have in the bank. Yeah, that's true. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's certain things you can't replace. Yeah, it can help you live really well. It can help you, you know, live comfortably. Yeah, live comfortable and and take care of like health issues if they do come up. But money don't fix everything, bro. There's a lot of rich people that end up committing suicide, bro. Mm-hmm. After they get rich, when they were poor, they were straight. Yeah. I wouldn't say straight, but like they, they didn't have that tendency. Once they got rich and they realized like that's that's doesn't bring you any type of happiness for real. People tend to lose it, bro. Yeah, I I believe it. Look at fucking uh, was it Robin Williams? What's his name? No, from Jumanji. Yeah, Robin Williams, bro. That was sad, man. Yeah, man. Rest in peace, to Robin. I Williams, feel like you know bro. who's next. Honestly, like don't I don't want to sound like a you know. A psych, you know, a psych, like, I don't know, like a crazy, like, motherfucker. But I really think that uh, Jim Carrey's about to go next. Like, he's one of those guys. Uh, he already looks kind of nuts. He lost Nah, it. Jim, Jim Carrey, in my opinion, bro, Jim Carrey's more woke than what people could comprehend. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, that nigga really knows what the fuck he's talking about, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Like, you just gotta read between the lines with Jim Carrey, because he uses a lot of sarcasm. Mm. Like... He'll talk to you and it, it'll seem dead serious, but if you really read between the lines, you're like, oh, this nigga is just trolling. Like, he's like fucking with you, but yeah. letting you know the real at the same time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like, crazy. Jim Carrey is a different character, bro, but I feel like there's some people on this earth, bro, that are so woke that they look, they seem weird because yeah. they're just on a different wavelength, they're bro. On like, a different they, level. Yeah. they don't, they understand shit on a different level that most people can't. That's true. That's crazy, man. Jim Carrey. I haven't seen him in a movie in a while. The last one I saw That's one was... of my favorite fucking actors as a kid. James Ventura, bro. That was one of my favorite movies. Dick and Jane? Dick and Jane. Yeah, bro. That was a good yeah, fucking movie. That was movie, funny though. as hell. I think that was the that last movie. That was a funny-ass movie. movie. The last movie he really did that was really good was, was that movie, I think. Word, bro. Yeah. Jim Carrey, dog. Shout out to Jim Carrey, man. Let us know in the fucking comments if you fuck with Jim Carrey. For yeah, because Jim man. Carrey's cool, man. Facts. But, um, but yeah, man. Going, getting down to the nitty gritty, boo. Yeah, man. Fuck Let's it. go back to the childhood right quick, bro. I used bro. to get my ass whooped <laughs> back what, in the day. What were some of the things that you used to get your ass whooped about as a kid? Man, I used to, <laughs> I used to do like just fucked up shit sometimes, you know? I would just be rude, really rude. You know, like, I remember being getting gifts and stuff like that and just being like, you know, I don't really like this gift and getting... <laughs> Smack right in the fucking, fucking face. Dick mouth, that's why. Yeah, like, don't fucking say that. You, you know, like, <laughs> you know, I remember my dad fucking hitting me in the nose with a remote. <laughs> and, Damn. and I started leaking. I started leaking from my nose, and my mom was like, what the fuck? Look what you did to your son. And he's like, I'm sorry. And I was like, bitch, get the fuck away from me. You fucking <laughs> busting my fucking nose. 
You see how tiny my nose is, bro? I got a tiny nose. The nose is like this fucking tiny. Like, oh my god, motherfucker man. broke my fucking nostril. But you learned, didn't you? Yeah, I learned, man. I learned not to do it ever again, man. Like, that's what. That's your best fucking bet. I remember fucking spelling my name wrong when I was first like learning how to write and stuff like that. And my dad made me write it a billion fucking times, and he was smacking me. He'd be like, Yo, like. Learn how to write your fucking name, your yeah, whole name. That's like, one this thing, is you. Like, that's one thing I used to get my ass whooped about, too, was, like, just fucking being wrong on, like, homework. Like, yeah. I remember one time my uncle was helping me out, dog, with some math homework, <laughs> dog. And he gave me the answer. Like, he asked me, like, three times, and then I got it wrong all three times, and then he, like, helped me, and he was like, okay, this is the answer. And then he did the problem, like, this, just, like, he switched a couple numbers, but it was supposed to be the same answer, bro. And I got it wrong. <laughs> and that nigga smacked me upside my fucking head so hard that I got it right the next time. <laughs> you just got to get punched in the head a couple times to wake up the brain, you know? That's a fun. Get a little spark plug. Going. Get the spark plug. Plug him in. <laughs> Get the juices flowing, bro. Nah. But that, not that ass. You learn. No, nah, you, you learn. learn real quick. No, nah, you do. Even cursive, man. I don't even remember the last time I really wrote cursive, though. Like to be honest, bro. The last signature. time I wrote cursive was in fifth grade. And I remember Miss Watson. Shout out to Miss Watson. She used to be my favorite teacher at Friendship Elementary, bro. Man. And she taught me how to write cursive. Like when I got to her class in fourth grade, bro, I didn't know how to write cursive at all. And by the time I was done in fifth grade, bro, it's like. I was so used to writing in cursive. That's how I was writing, like, damn, like fluent, bro. To this day, bro, that she's the reason why I know how to sign my name in cursive, like, mm. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. it that's the that's the type of effect that like good teachers have on a kid. Like a lot of teachers don't understand that shit. They're like, oh, these are just little kids, bro. You're an influence on that child. You know what I'm saying? You telling him, hey, man, good job. Like, you're smart or whatever. Like, that might change their whole fucking mood, their whole life, the whole way, that, the way they act the whole rest of the school year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Like, That's true. As a teacher, bro, you got to be really fucking careful yeah. with yeah. how you treat your kids and what you tell them and how you tell them that shit, bro. Yeah, that's true. Because they're like sponges, you know what I mean? That's a fact, bro. They're sponges, man. Real sensitive, too. That's a fact. You know what else is real sensitive? What's that? My fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> My dog said his ass is asleep, bro. Oh, but yeah, guys, we've been back with another episode, guys. We appreciate everybody that's been rocking, liking, subscribing, thumbs up, sharing, all that good shit. Please continue to do so. Eventually, guys, here soon, we're working on getting a website up with some merchandise, guys. So stay tuned for that and let us know what you guys will want to see us, you know, sell what give us like you know logo ideas some, some just beanies shit. you know yeah, beanies. like maybe little fucking uh rolling trays you know if what any I mean? of you guys if any of you guys do like graphic design like you know send in some some you know some logos that you guys think would be dope for dope talk you yeah. know what i'm saying and and we're not cheap motherfuckers bro we're willing to pay we're not asking for no no free handouts or nothing so just you know if you do that send in some some logos and you know we might fuck with you we'll pick out a few and and we'll go from there yeah but um but we appreciate you guys it's been yours truly low key jump we out thumbs up peace